This is what we think of the experience on a daily basis and the teacher's experience. Experience is what we think of. that's on Haven, it's the oldest part of the building on the third floor, the Lincoln Building. And this is capturing getting down the stairwell. <laughs> and we think traffic's bad on Hamilton Road. <laughs> So it's sped up 300% here. So it takes about two minutes just to get down the stairwell, and then you have to go across the building to class. So kids are often late, and teachers are pretty understanding about it. So we, we can stop it there. Um, so I would say in the hallways, when the bell rings, we're over capacity. So, the reason I think we need a high school solution beyond Lincoln High School is not just capacity, it's safety, efficiency, and 21st century learning, and it's logistics. It's moving from one end to the building is really, really tight and really tough. So on the left-hand side, what you see is the entrance to, to the Lincoln building, the Lincoln part of the building, and um, when we came back from break, Scott Lofton, this guy, you can raise your hand, he's our business manager, he called me the Sunday, the last Sunday of break, and he said, um, we're gonna have to close that entrance because uh, brick, mortar, all kinds of things are falling, and we're gonna put a net over it, and we had to get um, a contractor in as quickly as possible. You don't always get the best price when you need it right away. And what happened was um, they got up there and it wasn't sandstone or brick necessarily or cement falling. What it was was all the attempts to glue it together with plaster and that approach is, is sadly, we spend more money than we want to fixing things that just are dilapidated and really not fixable. We're patching things together. The picture in the middle is our boiler and that thing looks really old, and it is. And we've had to spend a lot of time, energy, and we're grateful for the 2014 PI levy because it helps us maintain this old equipment. Um, it still works, but it's very, very old. And that uh, is a hole in, in, a, in a ceiling uh, near the gymnasium and the roof has leaked there many, many times and been patched many times. So safety and efficiency is really, really important. And it's not a cost-effective way to run school when we're patching things together or fixing things that aren't um, as efficient as we'd like them to be. So in this building where we are today, and in many classrooms at the high school, we have what we call 21st century learning, which is kind of a curious term because we're in 2020, so we're 21, we're 20 years into the 21st century. And we think our most engaging programs are, are programs that really uh, spark creativity and engagement and long-term learning are our hands-on experiential learning experiences that kids have in this building and in other places at the main high school. So, so this is a very collaborative environment. We're a one-to-one -one school and kids have Chromebooks as you know and they do a lot of collaborative learning. 
this is hands-on learning taking place in um, our bioscience program. So these kids develop uh, an experience, a hypothesis, they work on it all year, and they present it, and they work with people from industry that come in and coach them around um, the project that they define that they want to kind of learn about. This is another project-based experience. This is Tyler Bruns in our Science Academy. 